ring, ring. It's Dr. Darling calling. In 1978, a comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up, going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered. And the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Our very own Ouija board. Only the director can answer it safely and what he hears is kept classified. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated. Something's coming. The whisper is growing louder. The worst winter storm in Bureau history. The retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide-and-seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel. The key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing. Ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. 
I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. It took us a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown fire. They are the weak point. Darling's right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do, some even better. They have proven themselves, Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall, Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. So I followed my own orders. North Moor hated my guts for that. But things change when you become director. You suddenly see this dark void for the horror show it truly is. Filled with screaming fear we pretend to control. Sand leaks through my fingers. The roses I pruned in the garden back when I still had a family. All dead. Heat escapes my body. My thoughts are scattered. The universe keeps expanding, and I can't keep up with it alone. When I forget that, things go wrong. And my team has to pick up the pieces. Damage control. To help me get out of my mess.
Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I... Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If... You agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Singing. So. 
Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. I heard the ships attack the power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating? Coordinating? What about the plant attracted them? The power plant is largely confidential. No use guessing the Hiss's motives if we don't even know what kind of energy... It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy out there. Right? 